Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to take one of these awesome Halloween candles, something that you might typically just use one time, and turn it into an even awesomer Halloween decoration that you can use year after year. And how we're going to do that is basically drill out the center and turn it from a real candle into a fake candle like you see with this spider candle here. Basically, we just have an LED um, tea light, the kind that you're going to use with like your PVC candles that you might be making. And we're just going to drill out the center of the real candle and stick it inside. And now I can use it again year after year. And this is something that you can actually not only use for your Halloween decorations, but you know, around the house as well. With these candles over here, I've pretty much done the exact same thing. These are the dollar store scented candles. It smells like vanilla. Um, I believe it's a vanilla cupcake and I actually really like it. So what I've done is I've you know, drilled out the center, but instead of leaving a little bit of the wick show or the flame, I guess, effect showing, um, like you see in the black candle, I've actually drilled it down even further so that you can see the glow through the, um, the wax of the candle. It really just sort of depends on how thick the candle is, if you can do that or not. Like with the black candle, I'm sure you would never see the flame effect through the wax. So didn't do it with the Halloween one, but I do do it with my candles around the house. And again, just turns it into something that we can use all the time instead of just you know burning it once and having to replace it all the time. Especially when these Halloween candles, you know, first of all, they look very nice. I mean, this one's got the glittery spider web effect with the jewels on it, but that's why it costs $7 for this little candle. So it would just, you know, be a shame to burn it. Anyway, let's get started. What you're gonna need to do um, with these, candles. Um, well, first unpack it. So anyway, what you're going to need is what I should have started with, um, is a drill to drill it out. I use what are called Forstner bits. And let me just show you what that looks like. Actually, I can just show you on here. It basically drills yourself a little hole. Um, in, well, a circle. So I actually bought these several years ago when I was making my Halloween PVC fence. I'll show you that in a later video and maybe show you a tutorial on that as well. Um, so these were kind of pricey. I think this whole set here was like 50 bucks, but I've used it for that project. I've used it for endless projects since. I think it was a great investment. If you can't invest in one of these, you know, you can always hollow it out with, you know, I don't know, a knife or something. You just probably want to make sure that your knife is super hot. And in fact, it actually doesn't hurt to heat up um, your Forstner bit as well. Sometimes I will stick them in hot water for a minute or two um, just to help help it cut through the wax. I've noticed with the, um, the dollar store, candles are really cheap and I broke several of them trying to actually get it to work until I got the hang of it. Um, but I didn't, this was actually the first one I ever experimented on um, drilling it out like that and I didn't have a problem. So I sus suspect that the higher quality candle you get, maybe the easier it is. So anyway, you're gonna need your drill, your bit, a tea light candle. Now I also like to get the candles that have the timers built in um, so that they will turn on at the same time every night, burn, I think it's for like five hours or so and then turn itself off um, just so I can just set it and forget it. That's what I like to do. And then I just take the Sharpie marker, which you can kind of see on, I've, I've done it halfway on this candle already. I'll just take the Sharpie and um, cover it black so it blends into the black candle. Usually two coats will make it look a little bit better, as you can see in this one, if you can see it from over there. Um, you know, it just has a little bit better coverage than the half of the one I've done so far. So anyway, I've been babbling because, you know, this is my one shot. I only have one of these expensive candles. So let's get this right and hopefully not mess up. All right, so I've got my drill. Make sure it is in forward and not reverse. And we're pretty much just going to drill right through the, um, the wick there. Now with these dollar store candles, um, you can actually just peel off the sticker on the bottom and pull the entire wick out. It just slides right out but these are a bit higher quality. You're not gonna be able to do that. There's nothing to pull from the bottom here, but I am gonna just sort of snip off the top of the wick just so it doesn't get in the way. Basically, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm just gonna kind of 
push the bit. It's got a, the bit has a sharp center point, so you're able to just sort of stick it in there. So it's gonna hold itself in place and just slowly, slowly start, start drilling. Now you may have noticed at this point that this is a very messy project. I have put down a little piece of wax paper here to sort of help capture that mess, but it's gonna get everywhere. Um, it's probably not a good idea to do this on top of carpet like I'm doing here. If you do, just be extra careful. making progress. Um, again, you can see mess is getting everywhere. Just go slow. Um, I got it up going a little fast there, which is fine. I should have mentioned too, this is a one and a half inch bit. If you get it, uh, if it starts to jam, you know, just sort of give it a little bit of a wiggle. Don't apply too much pressure, just a light pressure. Because you don't want to break the wax on the candle. All right, now just looking at it, I haven't gone nearly deep enough. I think I'm only about halfway, but you can see um, the candle's starting to fit in there just fine. I'm about halfway. Let's get this done. All right. It's gonna be close. No, no, it's actually almost just perfect. It is just a little bit unlevel, probably because I was holding it at a bit of an angle. You do want to try and keep it as flat as possible when you are drilling this. So let's just kind of try and fix it a little bit here. All right, hopefully that did it. We'll see. Close enough. So there we go. We'll just clean off some of that wax from the top. I'm just gonna take this Sharpie marker, give the top a little bit of an extra coating here. Now, Again, with those candles over there, you know, this is a project you can do around the house. And <clears throat> again, I like the flicker effect that you can see through the wax. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, um, it in a little bit of darkness so that you can see that effect. And my marker is dead, of course. So luckily I have a backup, but I don't think this one's any better. A little bit better, okay. Um, Again, like I said too, you probably want to do two coats just for um, time's sake. I'm only going to do the top of this one for the video. But again, just regular old Sharpie marker. There you go. With it black, you're not going to see it in the top. Let's just go ahead and turn it on. All right. Well, I suppose I should have checked this one before I started using it. Um, that's just typical, isn't it? Now, I have made so many candles over the years. I use these things. They usually last forever, so I'm actually a little surprised that it's dead already. But when it dies, I will just order the batteries in bulk. Um, I can't remember what it is offhand, a CR2032. And I'll just replace the batteries maybe before Halloween. It's cheaper than buying you know, a whole new tea light. Um, and if you look on Amazon, you can get a good deal on them. So we'll just swap it out with this one from the old camera, or the old candle there. Put this one on top. I definitely like this candle a little bit better with the spider webs. It's pretty cool looking. And there you go. That's how you can turn an awesome Halloween candle that you might just use once into an awesomer Halloween candle you can use year after year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, so I'm going to head out now. But if you want to catch me later, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you around. Take care, everyone.